morning guys and welcome to today's video where we are going to look at volume okay so previously we have looked at two other concepts we've looked at perimeter we have looked at area and today we are looking at volume okay now just a th little thing to remind us when we measure in perimeter we measure in say for example meters when we're doing area it is meters squared and when we do volume it is cubed okay and that's talking about the dimensions we're using if we're thinking about perimeter okay we are only looking at one dimension we're looking at a straight line that may be bent in different places okay and the measurement of that line when we're looking at area, we're looking at the space covered by two different dimensions. So for example, height and width. Okay. And when we are looking at volume, okay, we are looking at three dimensions. And that is the height, the width. So the same as area, but we're also looking at the depth. So for example, here is a square. Okay. Say we looked at the area of the square. So it was five by five okay the area would be 25 meters squared okay volume is looking at three-dimensional shapes so it's imagining that this shape okay was actually a cube instead of a square okay and in that case so we have our height we have our width and we have our depth, okay? And that is also five because it's a cube. So instead of, so this is the area, our volume would be five times five times five, which is 125 meters cubed, okay? So the three represents the fact that it's cubed, that there are three dimensions we're looking at. So the formula would be volume equals height, times width times depth okay and the volume is everything that can be um, contained inside that so things that we may be looking for the volume okay you may look for example at the volume of a drink bottle that can tell you how much water that drink bottle can store okay you wouldn't however be looking for the um, volume of a, a piece of paper okay you may be looking for the surface area okay but you wouldn't be looking for the volume, okay? The volume is for three-dimensional objects that can generally contain something, okay? So things that you may be looking for, you may be looking for a big storage box, okay? You may be looking for um, the boot of a car, what is the volume that that can contain, an ice cream container, anything that can um, that can store something inside it, you, you will be likely looking at the volume and how much it can store, okay? So that is how we do volume. Now, you may be thinking, I called it cube there, okay, and I've drawn a cube. Is it any different if you, say, had a rectangle? And the answer is no. You would still measure it in cubed, and you'd still do the exact same formula, okay, because even because I think that one there becomes a cuboid, okay. Even though it is not a cube, okay, that is our little thing same as how with area we call it meters squared okay and we're not always using squares we may be finding the area of a triangle for example okay even if okay you were finding let me just see if i can do a good job of drawing it even if you were finding the area of a, um, of a prism or a pyramid for example okay you would still use meters squared Okay, so volume is this the space that a three-dimensional shape covers, okay, and it's adding one extra dimension from area. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.